Hey, have you seen the other one of these? No. Thought I asked you to buy two. We are always running out. We don't even have enough to write. Honey, I'm sorry. I must not have gotten around to it. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing, Brad? I'm leaving. What? You heard me. I'm leaving. Well, because of that down there? Because that was nonsense. I'm not stupid, nonsense. Brad. Oh, no, Christ, this is funny. No, the boys aren't stupid. <sighs> I wasn't I'm not stupid. You're stupid. Say as something a comment, like for that Christ's in sake. front of my friends. Beth, they know. You think you can say something like that is so scary. Oh, Beth, they know I'm a prick. They don't listen to they me. They know you're a prick? Yeah, everybody knows I'm a prick. And you're able to live with that? <laughs> it's who I am. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I say things, I don't mean them. I just, I just say them sometimes, you know that. No. What I know is, I'm really not happy here. Oh, Christ. And I haven't been happy for a very long time. And that's just, I gotta go, I gotta go. No. What is that supposed to mean? It means no, I, I won't let you, you can't leave. You want me to start a scene? <laughs> you want me to scream in front of Ben and Sonia downstairs? Go ahead. Brad. Denny and Sonia can go fuck themselves for all I care. My wife's not walking out the door. Like I'm some character in a story. What the hell does that even you mean? You say it like I'm some little character in a story. Christ. My wife's not gonna. I'm not some little character in a story. Beth, just hold on. Don't God touch me, Jack. Don't touch me. Jesus, sorry. Every time you touch me, it's like being raped. Oh my god. You're a fucking freak. No, I'm not. Just, just tell me where you're going? No, it's none of your business. You're gonna go run to, uh, what's his name, aren't you? Your little boyfriend. I'm going to the cabin. Oh, you're gonna run to your little fucking boyfriend, aren't you? I don't you? know what you're talking about. Oh, fuck you, Beth, come no. on. You think I need someone to run to? Like, I need someone. Like, living in the same house with you for 15 years isn't enough to make me sick to my stomach. I don't need another reason to be miserable, Brad. You're all the reason anyone would no, ever I, need. I know you've been fucking that pharmacist behind my back, and I wasn't going to say anything about You're it because so I didn't want the boys to find out their mother was a whore. You know what? I'm going. You obviously have some idea in your head that is totally of your own creation, I, and I'm just hold on. I, I, I said, accept don't it. Don't touch me. Okay. Well, what? Just right in front of Denny and Sonia, huh? Everyone knows you're a prick, Brad. I'm sure they'll take it in stride. Well, you know he's never gonna leave Kathy, don't you? I'm not even gonna have this discussion with you because you know what? I don't know what it's about. He won't. He knows what he wants. I know what I want. And we've been very clear with each other. So you are fucking this guy? Yeah, Brad. I guess I am. I'm fucking this guy. Oh, what? Should I not use such bad language? I'm sorry. It's such a beautiful thing when two people who are married to other people can stick their stinky little parts in each other. Sorry if I made it sound cheap. Fucking A. I know it's cheap. Oh, you do, huh? Yes, I know it's you not know, good. You have no idea he's never going to leave those three kids, right? Oh, come on, Beth. You must know that. He will never leave those fucking kids of his. That bitch wife has him wrapped around her finger tighter than a Duncan fucking yo-yo. Have you ever seen them at the movie store picking out films together? <laughs> Merchant Ivory Jane Austen. Merchant Ivory and Jane Austen. Every single fucking time. He's not going anywhere. Oh, but you must know that, right? You're not stupid, right, Beth? Look. Let's just go downstairs and have a beer, you know? No. And, come on, you can bitch to Sonia. Denny and I will take no. the boys to... Well, do you just want me to send them home then? No. I don't know. Look. I'm just gonna go down there and tell them we need a little time. No. Yes. Danny can get the coal started with whatever fuck that is that doesn't use fluid. 
Look, I will be right back up. Whatever. Thanks. They decided to go home. I'm sorry, I'll call Sonia later. No, you don't explain. have to. It's no big deal. It's a big deal, mm, Brad. You know what I mean. What did you tell them? I told them you were fucking the pharmacist at Sunberg's. We had to talk about it. You did not. No, I didn't. I just told them we had to talk. That's all. I took the boys. Where? Get some dinner, I guess. I don't know. Perkins, something. God. What? Everything has to actually happen, doesn't it? Think in your mind things can happen without happening, but then in the end, they always have to actually happen. Actual kids have to get driven away by actual friends and Actual people have to sit there and just live. So you know for a fact that he's actually leaving Kathy? Gosh, I don't know, Brad. And I don't care. We're... That's not what this is about. That's as much of a mistake, probably, as this was. I'm the queen of romance. Hey, mistakes. you and me? What? A mistake? Yeah. Well, it wasn't for me. What am I supposed to say to that? Nothing. It's just, I, All of a I don't sudden know. You it have sucks to hear it. No, I'm just saying, Christ, like, was it perfect all the time? No. But, but it wasn't a mistake. But no, you really think it, it was a you mistake? You really want to have this conversation? Because yeah. truthfully, I just want to go. <laughs> then fucking go. Go. You want to go? Don't then you just understand? Leave. Yeah, I know. It's holding you here. Fucking leave. You want to walk out of here, fucking kids? Don't you understand leave that? Leave then. If oh I my felt God. like I had a choice, oh my God. I, I had one. <laughs> so what? You're going to go up to the cabin? Yeah. Is he going to be there? No. Yes? I don't know. Does it matter? Yeah, it fucking matters. It's my fucking cabin. I built it. I don't want some shit for Brains Pharmacist. Fucking my wife and then my cabin. Then he come up. Oh, I'm sorry to ask for a little common courtesy so he doesn't spray his fucking cum all over my pillow. I said he won't come up. Jesus. Shut up about it already. I wasn't Thank planning you. on it. God, you're such a pig. Does Kathy know? I don't know. I told you, Brad. That's not what this is about. This is about you and me. David or no David. Oh, don't I say his name in this fucking house, Beth. David or no David. I don't you fucking say his name in this house, Beth. He doesn't know what I'm doing. I haven't told him about this. It's not like we're on walkie-talkies all the time. It's not that serious. So you don't know if Kathy knows? No, I don't, and because I don't the care. you walk out that fucking door, I'm gonna call over there and tell her her husband is fucking my wife! Is that supposed to make me stay? <laughs> you want know. me to stay with you for his sake? I don't know, Beth. You're the one that was saying that shit actually has to happen. All I'm saying is walk out that door and shit's gonna actually start to fucking happen. And you have to hurt everybody else. I guess I do. This is not about them! Oh, bullshit! Both that fucking bullshit, it's not about them! We were happy! We were never happy! We, we were, were happy for 15 to... years! I was never happy! <laughs> is that what he tells you? No! Th th this wonderful guy? What? Is that makes you true? believe you were never happy? Takes a piss on half of your fucking life to what, get in your pants? Makes you believe you were never happy, Beth, come on! Fuck, how many times have we fucked in this bed, huh? Thousand times? Two thousand fucking times, Beth? How many? No, just tell me that we that you faked it every single time. 
that you faked it every single time you told me you loved me. Every single time you pushed that pussy of yours against my face and told me you loved me. Hey, hey. I'm a sexy idiot. You owe me nothing. What? I made you a promise and you owe me nothing. I've cleaned the house and fed you and Oh, fed I'm talking kid. about a fucking promise. It's I'm not talking about how you work. owe me. I'm talking about a promise. I took my life which I could have done anything with. And I chose to chase you down and stupid fucking me. I chose to chase you down and you never let me hear the end of it. Oh, he had to chase me down. I wasn't really ready, but he was so persistent. And stupid me, I chased you down because I thought you were like the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen. And I thought, shit, Brad, you are an idiot. But you know, maybe, just maybe, she'll see something in you that you don't see yourself even, you I know? I know, I'm the worst thing that ever <laughs> happened to you, I Nobody, know that. No one thought you'd go out with me. I remember Slick said it was a logical impossibility, right? And it still is! So why did That's you problem. say yes?! You bitch, why did we have kids? Why did you waste my time for the last 15 years? Because I didn't know what else to do. Oh my and god. And I didn't think I would ever be good at anything. Oh. And I didn't think it would, would last this long. Oh, what, should I have died? Did no. I miss my cue or something? No, it's just that life gets long sometimes. Oh my god, you're so full of shit. I'm not full of shit, Brad. I'm just tired of being married to you, that's all it is. Nothing as complicated as you seem to want to make it. You love me. I didn't love you, I was scared to live. What? No, you loved me. And the minute you fucking realize that you're gonna know that more than anything you know in the pit of your fucking heart. What's his number? Don't call her. Watch his fucking number, Beth. Look, if you want to be mad at somebody, be mad at me. Just fucking touch that phone, Beth. I'll stay if you want me to stay. Don't you, stay. you fucking touch that phone! Oh, you felt like it was being raped every time I touched you, huh? <laughs> huh? I will throw you down right now and I will rape you, you fucking cunt! I'm going. Before you do anything that gets you locked up in prison, because oh, yeah. that would be good for the boy. Do us all a favor. I am! Save me from my stuff, what a fucking joke! You can stop yelling, Brad, I'm leaving. Oh, go ahead. When the boys get back, I'll tell them all about their hard mother! I had to screw you straight through the floor, back to hell, you cut! You fucking cut! <laughs>